What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm going to check out 15 times WWE took shots at rival companies. WWE is not uh, afraid to get petty. They have done this time and time again. Yeah, I know people have the criticism that AEW sends a lot of shots at WWE, you know, and to be fair, you can say that criticism is justified because they, they will send some shots at WWE and their talent there. I mean, a lot of them are from WWE, so I get it. But at the same time, WWE has done it time and time and time again. Like they have. Because they know they're the biggest wrestling company in the world. There's no wrestling company that's bigger than WWE. Not AEW, not New Japan. No company right now. Is bigger than WWE and they know that so they can they can push their weight and talk the trash every now and then because they know who's gonna beat them so we're gonna check out some of the moments where WWE said fuck it we we them niggas and what y'all gonna do about it appreciate all love support let's get right into this one anything you could have asked me about AEW I remember this WWE is the king of professional wrestling, but many companies have tried to take the crowd. They WWE tried. isn't afraid to take shots at their competition, and sometimes it's been very literal. Mm -hmm. Classic one. Some shots were so bad that WWE actually got sued. We'll get to that soon. Oh, damn. But first, I would not want to be this guy. In the 2000s, WWE's biggest rival was a company called Total Nonstop Action, mm -hmm. or TNA. TNA. For the first several years, WWE didn't even acknowledge TNA's existence, mm -mm. but that didn't stop fans. During WWE's fan call-in show, the company got bombarded with TNA questions. The best part, though, is how the host, Todd Grisham, responded. <laughs> Maybe oh, it'll happen. And, uh, well, TNA maybe... is better than WWE. Well, then why are you calling our show, retard? Because <laughs> who has bigger uh, arms? You know what's crazy? He cannot say that word. No, you can't say that word, bro. <laughs> you cannot say that word. Not publicly. Because, boy, he would have got canceled. But he said, why are you calling the show? <laughs> That's fucking great. You or Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And everybody check out TNAWrestling.com. Bob, are you there? Hi, Todd. Yes. What's up? What's up? Hi, I just want to say I love how you dodge TNA questions like you dodge the women. <laughs> women dodge me. I don't dodge women. And then he hangs up. And he dodges me. As TNA grew and became more and more of a threat, <laughs> WWE decided to take a few shots at the company. In the lead up to AJ Styles and The Undertaker's match at WrestleMania, both men got very personal. Mm -hmm. The dead man dug into AJ's past, and one of the victims was Styles' former employer, TNA. While addressing what AJ had said, Undertaker said this. You said maybe 10, 15 years ago, you probably wouldn't want to try me. you damn right you wouldn't want to. You were content being a big fish mm -hmm. in a little pond. Even Kurt Angle. That was a, that was a, ooh, I like that build up they had. AJ and Undertaker, that was a cool build up. For, especially for the pandemic era too, that was a cool build, build up. He <laughs> said, you was a big fish in a little pond, my boy. You didn't want that smoke. I like it. A dick at his former employer. Mm -hmm. During Angle's time as the general manager of Raw, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens yep, classic the segment. medalist after they've been kicked off of SmackDown. Here's what Kurt said. My tag team division is full. But I hear that TNA is hiring. <laughs> it is crazy coming from he damn near was Mr. TNA. Perk Angle himself. Peak Perk Angle was in TNA doing crazy. So the fact that he said that of all people, it's crazy. This though was the sickest shot WWE ever took at TNA. Before it became WWE's development system, NXT was sort of a reality show. Eight rookie wrestlers would compete in challenges I remember every this version week, of and the winner would become a member of the main WWE roster. Mm -hmm. During one week, the rookies were given an open mic and allowed yep. to talk about anything they wanted. One rookie saw an opportunity and took full advantage of it. What's your topic? Hey man, I'm just gonna have some fun tonight. The topic is gonna be NXT. So go ahead, call me rookie. Find out what I'm packing, because I'm the only reason for some total non-stop action. Well, after... Not surprising, <laughs> that guy won the competition two weeks later. That was a pretty good dig, but TNA didn't sue. Another company did, though, mm -hmm. and it was hilarious. First, though, WWE has taken a decent amount of shots against their current competitor, All yep. Elite Wrestling. Yes, they have. AEW. One of the first was at the 2019 WWE Hall of Fame. D-Generation X was being inducted, and of course, Billy Gunn was part of it. 
However, Gunn had signed with All Elite Wrestling a few months earlier. Mm -hmm. This was DX, so they had to bring it up. Mm -hmm. Shawn Michaels started talking about Gunn and made a reference to AEW. But you know what? We appreciate you being here and, you know, being all in. <laughs> all Men was a pay-per-view produced by the founders of All Elite Wrestling mm -hmm. and a precursor to AEW. However, Triple H took a much harder shot at the upstart yep. company. Let's be honest, he will buy that piss and company just to fire you again. This isn't even the worst WWE has done. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest failures in AEW history happened at the 2021 Revolution pay per yeah. In the main event, Kenny Omega took on John Moxley in an exploding barbed wire death match. Everything went well until the explosion was supposed to happen. It didn't look that impressive at all, with just some sparklers going off and a few bursts of pyro. Fans were vocal about the failure, but WWE also made fun of AEW. On Raw, a week after the incident, Drew McIntyre was in the ring, responding to Bobby Lashley and MVP. Specifically, Drew was addressing guarantees that MVP had made, leading to McIntyre saying this. That's such a dangerous thing to do in this industry. If you make a guarantee and you don't deliver, fans get upset. Mm. Sparks fly. Mm. Eventually got back at WB by taking a shot of their own. In late November 2021, yep. CM Punk and MJF had an epic verbal battle in the ring. Classic a lot promo of battle. Were thrown at each other, and both men made several references and digs at WB, including one made about the Miz. Yep. He thinks what he does is revolutionary to the wrestling business, when in reality, he's just a less famous Miz. WWE. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And MJF was holding his own. He was really going back and forth. But this one, that was, ooh, that was a haymaker line, bro. Calling him a less known Miz was wild. But look at MJF now. He's on top of AEW as he deserves. Was not going to stand by quietly and took their own shot at AEW a week later. Mm -hmm. On Raw, Edge made his return, but was confronted. Which is crazy, this whole segment. CM Punk's not even in <laughs> AEW no more. May even end up in WWE again. And Edge is in AEW now. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> By the Miz, this led to the Radar Superstar saying this. You have people on other shows saying your name just, just to get a cheap reaction. You live rent free in a lot of heads. Once Cody Rhodes was crazy. WWE, it was only a matter of time before people brought up his career with AEW. Yep. Every single day that you were gone, you and your little friends, you tried to tear down what I was building here. And when that didn't work out so well for you, you came running back. You don't get to take mm -hmm. a sledgehammer to the throne and then come back and try. Yep, I rem we all remember that. That was that was a moment. He took the sledgehammer to the throne, you know, the symbolism with Triple H. And then he came back, and I love that Seth Rollins brought this up. This was a very good feud when uh, Cody came back to WWE. For Man, really good feud. Try to take that throne from me. Funny enough, another member of the Shield would use Cody Rhodes to take a shot at AEW. Before mm -hmm. WrestleMania 39, Cody came face to face with his opponent, Roman Reigns. This the tribal so, chief then so made good. this comment. You didn't want to do the Stardust thing, so what happened? You ran away. And what happened? You ran away, you started a company and a promotion that you couldn't get over in, <laughs> and then you ran away. This is so good. <laughs> Bro, Roman was mm, Roman was cooking right there, bro. You couldn't get over it, so guess what? You ran away. <laughs> it might be surprising, but WWE actually did something worse than this. In early 2020, WWE debuted a manager called Robert Stone. The character was a parody of AEW owner Tony Khan. Oh, just the resemblance. Wow. Robert Stone appeared on NXT, where he tried to recruit wrestlers to join his brand and would be presented as the biggest wuss. This train is picking up steam, and do you want to come on? I didn't even know this was a thing, but he definitely got the, the, the Tony Khan coked up vibes. <laughs> Damn. Tony Khan did not sue WB, but this next company did. During mm -hmm. the mid to late 90s, WB was battling with Ted Turner's wrestling company, WCW. WWE's first attempt at taking down WCW was a series of skits called Billionaire Ted's Wrestle in War Room that aged pretty poorly. What if all our stars have to take a legitimate drug test for steroids? You don't have to worry about that, brother, because we're not in the WWF anymore. 
Wow. <laughs> Surprisingly, that is not what WCW sued WWE for. WWE eventually got better and started taking some really dirty shots mm -hmm. at their competition. One of the best was when they mocked WCW's biggest star, Goldberg, by making an entirely new wrestler. Yep. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Look Gilbert. Oh. Being the best talker on the mic, you know The Rock took some shots at WCW. After leaving World Championship Wrestling, Chris Jericho made his WWE debut by confronting the Brahma Bull. The Rock and Y2J continued to butt heads, leading Rocky to take a shot at Jericho's former employer. You think you impressed The Rock? Why? Because a couple of months ago, you were down south beating some jabroni named Hooventude? I guess The Rock was getting payback for Hooventude Guerrera mocking him a few months earlier. <laughs> WWE eventually went too far, though, and found themselves in court. In 1998, X-Pac was fired from WCW and, just a few days later, joined WWE. Of course, X-Pac took some shots at his former employer. I heard Hulk Hogan come out on television saying I couldn't cut the mustard. It's not my fault that he can't cut the mustard and run with the rest of the NWO. Well, Hulk Hogan, you suck, pal. However, the comment that got WWE sued was this. Kevin Nash and Scott Hall would be standing right here with us if they weren't being held hostage by World Championship Wrestling, Whoa. and that's a fact. X-Pac got deposed for that, which led to a bigger lawsuit from WCW, who claimed WWE was engaging in unfair trade. Uh. It's just amazing to me that they'd be going through a wrestling promo like, okay, and then you said this and this. The final thing you said here, sir, is uh, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> they asked me that. <laughs> Wow. What do you mean, suck it? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Wow. What do you think it means? <laughs> Several WWE fans also found themselves in court after That's they destroyed That's crazy, a bro. Damn, man. Hey, it, it's part of the friendly. Well, it's not friendly, but, you know, it's part of competition. I personally don't get up in arms about them mentioning other companies. Uh, you know, as long as it's not a constant thing, you know, we, we get why it's done. But at this point, WWE doesn't really have to because we all know they're still the bigger company. They are. They are the bigger company. They will, for, I don't know, maybe forever be the bigger company because AEW had multiple chances to really capitalize. But I think WWE has been in such a good run, especially with the PLEs as of late. And the product has gotten better than what it was, especially when Vince McMahon was in full total creative control, that they're, they're losing out. They're losing out for sure. So, it, you know, these companies are going to take their digs. But I think in WWE's case, they don't have to anymore because they know no one's beating them. It's, it's the truth as of right now so comment down below let me know what's your favorite i guess you can say shots that wwe is taking at other companies and also let me know what's your favorite like shots that aew and wcw and all these other companies have taken at wwe let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on channel bro 250k and i'm still getting to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you next one peace